What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Motes Film Session. And today, man, I'm breaking down Trey Norwood. Now, his performance against the Chiefs was a little bit of a mixed bag as well. I know late in the game, it didn't go as we would like to have seen from him, but early on, he was doing some really impressive things, man, as it pertains to coverage. So definitely want to highlight the young rookie man who, uh, showed up at big times this season for us man so without further ado that is him right there rocking the deuce one play it in full speed now then i'm gonna break it down all right now i ain't gonna i'm not gonna lie man when i first saw this play I started having flashbacks to like being a kid, playing throwback football or just, you know, football back in the, in the yard and chasing guys all over there. Like, yo, but what route are you running right here? This is not a normal route, bro. You gotta run like a, you know, out up vertical, not a out up vertical around the bend, come all the way back. And that's what happens on this play as you have just saw it, and as we will talk about even more. But um, in terms of the coverage, it's a simple, uh, cover one hole or excuse me cover one robber so cover one robber is just this uh Edmonds he's gonna be in the deep middle your robber is Mika Fitzpatrick okay he's just gonna be sitting right here in the middle of the field down low and uh all he's trying to do is cut routes right read the quarterback's eyes and that's gonna tell him where to go everybody else is one uh, man to man coverage so you got a Kello he's on the back side right there with a uh, Kelsey you have, I think it's Marcus Allen. He is on the uh, running back. And then from there, you have Norwood. He is on number three. Sutton is in the slot. And then you have Joe Money out there on the uh, on the far perimeter, okay, in terms of how everything works. Now, the reason this is one robber versus one hole. One hole is when you take one of your linebackers, okay? If you took one of these linebacker guys and you had him be that low lurk guy safety middle of the field then everybody yells coverage 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 this guy will be on the back and then it's, uh excuse me so forth like that okay that's the only difference between when it's robber versus when it is uh, a low or versus a um, hole okay one hole versus one robber that's the only difference in those if you ever hear me say it or other people say it but that's enough of the nerd football talk that i was giving you right there um the thing that i like is this though man number one we're getting a disguise okay this was the uh the flavor of the week showing the a gap with the nickel and uh the linebacker and then from there play man-to-man -man coverage out of that now i like it at times because it does give a good disguise it makes it look like they're going to be blitzing the whole time when in all actuality they don't blitz at all it's just a four-man rush all marcus allen is doing is hugging his coverage that's it he's hug rushing but he is not a blitzer okay but with that being said Norwood has to understand a couple of things here, okay? When you're showing on the far A-gap away from your coverage, you have to know, okay, when I release out of this thing, I want to come out of it at a higher angle. And he does that because if you come at a flat angle, the problem is this, you're going to where he was, that's not where he's going to be once he starts moving, okay? Once his ball snaps, you're not gonna beat him and meet him at this angle one to two yards past the line of scrimmage when you're showing on the opposite A-gap. You're gonna meet him four or five yards down the field, so you have to take that type of release angle, which he does, as you can see. High, right? We just broke that down. This is beautiful technique by him. Also, what is he doing? He is defining his leverage in the sense that, hey, I'm not gonna allow you to just come across my face. If you beat me right now on an easy route, it's because you're going out. You're doing an outbreaking route. Now, we can talk about, hey, where's your help at? Your help is who? Mika Fitzpatrick, he's coming down low, but because of the disguise by Norwood, he's forced to kind of play this leverage right out the gate. And I'm fine with that as long as you know the strengths and weaknesses of it. If you take that leverage, you don't have help. As long as you understand that, that's fine. And you can see him bursting and pushing the out route. I love that. But now this is where it gets backyardsy. This is where it gets real pig skin. Uh, we're going to play throwback and run outside and just have a little fun with it because now my man goes from running an out route to now we're whirly birding. Now it's a drag route. I mean, dude, the route started on what? Their far numbers. And this is where the action actually happens <laughs> for Norwood in coverage. 
outside the numbers opposite the field 30 yards downfield this is crazy this is like only when you're playing the chiefs and maybe like two other teams that you even have to consider or even worry about this actually happen let alone the person actually throwing the ball but excellent finish by him as well not panicking right because right now it can, you can easily panic you can say yo this dude's running across the field. Man, he got a little separation. I can't get my head around. What am I going to do? But he doesn't do any of that. He doesn't grab the guy. He doesn't get all out of sorts. All he does is say, since I can't turn my head around to see the ball, I'm going to play through the hands. And that's what he does here. And ultimately, that's how he gets his PBU. As you can see, the ball coming out right there. But really good job by him, number one, having his technique and understanding the strengths and weaknesses of his design, of his disguise as it pertains to his coverage. I like that initially. Then from there, just understanding that, hey, scramble drill, now you have to plaster. That's what we call it. Once Mahomes gets out this pocket and this play becomes broken and now they're extending it, plaster, you gotta run with him. You see him roll up, you see him get eyes back a little bit, but now, hey, I gotta chase this guy because if Norwood, is, and you see right here, Norwood's face, I know it's a little grainy, but Norwood's face is pointing towards the receiver. And that's key because if Norwood is looking back at the quarterback, this guy is gonna get separation. This guy can turn it up. This guy can do a lot more things and Trey just won't see him and won't be able to stop it. But because he uh, remains true to his fundamentals of, if I can't touch the receiver, I can't look back, that's what makes him be able to be in place to make this play. And this is a huge play that he made right here, man. Definitely like to see that by the young guy, man. And then you see him with the big wall. Big stuff. Big stuff. Big stuff. <laughs> Let's go. But no, man, really nice work by him. And like I said, man, Trey did some really good things this year as a rookie. Definitely excited to see his growth and development going forward. Big stuff. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, now this last one we're gonna break down with Trey. Just once again shows him utilizing um, really good coverage and just smarts versus a bigger bodied uh, receiver on this particular play. But as we always do, if you're liking the video, and I know you like it, because you, I mean, why wouldn't you like it? It's the Steelers, it's Trey Norwood. Why wouldn't you like this? Make sure you hit the like button. It's a thumbs up, it's simple. Big, hit that thing. Also, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're at it and that little notification bell so that way you know whenever new videos are dropping. But also, don't forget, it's a new year. It's a new you. You need inspiration. I got you right here, baby. Most theory of life. Yes, a guy's becoming a person of impact and inspiration. I love it. Why do I love it? Because I wrote it and I talk about some of my qualities, my principles that help me just be successful in life as a husband, a father, a man. Um, this is definitely something that you're going to want to check out. If you haven't checked it out already, definitely do so. But maybe you know somebody that needs a copy of it. It's never too late. Get them a copy of it, man. Motestheory.com. Trust me on this, baby. Trust me on this. But now, let's get back to my man, Trey. Here he is. Oh, that was a really big circle. Y'all shouldn't have been like, yo, why you circle that so big? My bad. Here is Trey, the number deuce one, okay? 21 in the building. Play that full speed. And after that, I will break it down. All righty, all righty. So um, last play we talked about, we said that uh, obviously the Steelers were playing a one robber, right? So this one, they're going to be in uh, nickel cover one. So it's a nickel blitz and just cover one on the backside. So Cam Sutton, he's your nickel. He's just blitzing off the edge. Other than that, everybody else is going to be in man-to-man -man coverage. So you're going to have Trey Norwood. He's going to be on Kelsey right here. I believe this is Edmonds. He's going to replace Sutton. Then after that, you have uh, Joe out there. You're going to get Minka middle of the field. Kello on the backside, all right? That's how this is. And then um, obviously with Marcus Allen, he will have the running back over here, okay? So simple in terms of the responsibilities, in terms of playing cover one, but you're expecting the ball to come out faster. Why? Because it's a blitz. And we know with blitzing, it tells quarterbacks where to go with the ball. So. If you're trading Norwood, you know a couple of things just based on what I just said. If Sutton is blitzing, if you're showing over here, but your work is number three, 
we know that it, when it's a blitz, you're supposed to throw into the pressure. So right now, if you're Norwood, you have to know that, hey, man, there's a strong possibility that I can be in the action in a hurry. So I can't play around and, you know, show over here and have a, a lackadaisical drop or drop with too much depth either. OK, because, you know, with the pressure, the ball has to come out a little bit sooner, or at least it should be. So the thing I like is this. He understands that. So. He plays a little bit tighter coverage, and he also understands personnel. This is a receiver, and I mean, this is Travis Kelsey, who is not as fast as the receiver. Now, granted, he still can move, but he's not technically a receiver. So, with Trey, he plays with a little bit more aggressiveness in terms of his coverage, which actually helps him out even more so. But the thing that I like is this. He still maintains the same principles. Good in terms of his uh, pre-snap disguise, but getting out of that thing early, because like I said, he knows if there's a blitz coming, this ball should be having to come out faster, okay? Because they shouldn't have enough people. But now we're right here. And Trey, still good body position, right? Define the leverage like we talked about. I don't mind you playing inside leverage. If you're going to do that, just know where the strengths and weaknesses are and how you can be beat. So with that, he understands that, hey, I don't necessarily have to worry about this guy beating me across my face. But... With tight ends, they want to create contact. When they create contact, that helps them create separation. So Trey has to anticipate that, which he does. And you can see as soon as Kelsey stops his feet, Trey does not get on his heels. Trey doesn't back up anymore. Trey attacks. And that's the thing that I like because it allows him to close that space right here and put him in position to now, you see, off arm, secure the tackle, front arm, Okay, I'll highlight that. Off arm is back here securing the tackle. Then he has his front arm on this side to be in position for the PBU. Just good, simple mechanics and fundamentals. But then once he feels like, you know what, I can make this PBU, he goes and makes the play. Don't tell me you want to be a playmaker. Show me you want to be a playmaker. And that's what he does right here. Excellent job. And like I said, you're going against Travis Kelsey. We know who he is. So with that being said, to see the confidence that Norwood has, understanding that, hey, this is a third and eight right here. It's a possession down. We got to have this. This gets you off the field right here. Holds true to his disguise, but doesn't get himself in trouble. Takes a good release, not respecting him too much because just because he has stats doesn't mean that you give guys free releases and show uh, immaculate cushions for them. If you feel like you can match up with a guy, match up with the guy. And Trey does that. And then from there, just finishes off the play the way it needs to be finished. Good technique. Maintain your leverage. Nice footwork. Get you some contact. Okay, go make the play. Love that right there by Trey, man. Like I said, man, with him, he definitely has impressed this season, man. He did some nice things at the beginning of the year. We saw him come up with some turnovers in the middle of the season. And then even in the postseason, making plays, playing fired up. You love to see that right there by the young guy. But as we always do, man, let me know your thoughts on Trey this season. And ultimately, going forward, how excited you are for him and his uh, growth and development in the secondary as well. But um, as I always tell you, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.